Okay, let's check for updates in the Shark Indicator software and then download and install the update. So first of all, let's add Bloodhound to our chart. So in the Indicators window, under Shark Indicators, add SI Bloodhound to the chart. It's already on my chart, so I'm gonna close out of that. And you have the Bloodhound button at the top. Click that button, and that brings up the Bloodhound window. First, let's go to Help and check for updates. Now, if it tells us that we are up to date, then there's no reason to go any further. But it says that there is an update, so we will click yes. Now, all that does is bring up the change log web page on our site, so we can see what changes have happened um, and download from there. So if I click this top part here, I can shrink that and see all the past updates and their dates. Now, this video assumes that your maintenance period is up to date and that you have the right to download the latest version. If your maintenance period has expired, um, or if you're not sure, then you can find out the date that your maintenance period expired by going to Help, Manage License, choose the product in question, so Bloodhound, and you'll see the date up here. So I am within the maintenance period. So if that date was in the past, you have two choices. You can either purchase a maintenance extension to get access to the latest updates, or you can find an update on this change log page that came out before your maintenance period expired. Okay, so let's assume that we are all up to date and we want to get the latest version. So we'll click on the latest one here at the very top. Scroll down to the bottom of that section so we can see all the changes that have been made. Um, and there will be a button that says download the installer. So let's do that now and run it. Uh, to run it may be different in your browser. That's why we have these screenshots here to tell you kind of where to look um, for the download. Okay, so we'll run that. Now, before I proceed, we need to make sure that NinjaTrader is closed. Very important step. It will not uh, work if you don't close NinjaTrader. All right, <laughs> okay. so let's, I agree, and check anything that's relevant here. If you don't own the bar types, you don't need to check that. Same thing goes for the heat map. Bloodhound and Blackbird share code, and so they update together. So you don't have the choice there. It doesn't hurt anything if you don't own one of them to update or install both. Okay, click Next and Install. Okay, and our website pops up. We can close that and click Finish. So let's open NinjaTrader, and we want to verify that the update worked properly and that the software is functioning. So we'll have Bloodhound, the indicator, on our chart. We'll open the Bloodhound window up here and go Help and check for updates. First of all, make sure that our version of Bloodhound is up to date. It is. And then we'll go Help and About and verify that it is the version number that we downloaded. So it was .14.23, and that is the latest version as of this recording. Okay, that does it.